You know, that's Def Leppard. I don't know if you knew that or not. It's a remake from Def Leppard. It's a remake. Um, I, Metamorphic, it, it was cool. It, you know, but if I had to make it all over again, it'd be a totally different record because I, it was, I was just happy to have a solo deal by myself to express my creative freedom. And ultimately, I don't think I really had 100% of that because I would have did it totally different. Although I liked, I liked it, I didn't love the project, I liked it. But I was just, like I said, I was excited to have a chance to show because a lot of people didn't understand what I brought to the table as far as Jodeci. Because, you know, I'm not gonna call fans ignorant, but they're ignorant to the fact of what goes into a process of being a group that's not manufactured. Jodeci is not a manufactured group. We are four individuals that came together and put a, a melting pot of something great together. It wasn't just two lead singers and then that's Jodeci, you know, it, everything that goes into it made Jodeci. So I, I felt like, well, this is a chance for me to let people understand without me waving a white flag and trying to just show my credentials in the group, what I do. So I got kind of caught up in everybody putting their input in and not me having enough of my own. And like I said, I liked the project, I didn't love it. And if I had to do it all over again, then it'd be 100% different. You know, like I said, but Love Bites on, on, on an album, I recorded when I was 16 years old. Even that song, I wanted to do it over again. And they were like, oh, I'll just put the demo on the album. So that's actually a demo I recorded when I was 16. You know, I was, I was kind of inexperienced of, you know, being the lead vocals in the studio. So I was like, I was kind of like, just trying to feel my way around. Like if I had a chance to do everything over the way I wanted, it'd be totally different. So another good thing about like going back to the independence, now I, can ha I have a chance to really, you know, show where I'm at, or where I've always been musically, as far as production. You know, people know that I did certain things and produced certain songs, but they don't really know the magnitude of the things that I actually did. So this is a chance for me to actually show that, you know, that this is a lot of me, is 100% of what I am, as far as, you know, musically, or what I brought to the table. <laughs> that's, the, that's the burning question. Um, yeah, I mean, a, a biopic has been at works for a long time. It's, once again, people don't understand, you know, like, oh, Jodeci doing do a movie, and they expect the movie to be out next week. You know, New Edition took 11 years to make a movie. You know, even the clock since like 24, 14 years, I think, something like that. Every biopic, there, there's, there's an element of things that a lot of people don't know. It's a long laundry list that goes into making a biopic, a documentary, a movie. You know, there's rights, there's, there's this people, there's this people. And you know, when you've been a successful group like Jodeci, you know, you have four individuals, then you have four individual teams, or four individual team, individual teams, they have to get on the same page. They're not just four people that say, let's do a movie, and the movie gets done. So, you know, you got lawyers, you got these people, you got these people, so you go back and forth until you come to some kind of agreement all around the board. And these things take time sometimes, you know, and people don't understand it. They just think that, well, we need a movie, we need a Jodeci movie. Okay, well, we would love that Jodeci movie, but it has to be done right. And I mean, from, from top to the bottom. You look at movies like All Eyes On Me, it was a disappointment. You know, and that's what we left to live with Tupac's legacy has, has been marred into them trying to rush out a Tupac movie when they should have took their time. Because watching that movie, that's nothing like the Tupac I know, so I know it's not accurate to his life. So, I mean, you know, it, but we're left with that. Fans are left with that. That's what, He's not here to, to rebuttal or dispute the movie, he's dead and gone. But that's what we're left with because they didn't take the time to do the necessary research and get everything right. You know, you rush the project out, now everybody disappointed, and now that's all we got left to Tupac, to be immortalized as All Eyes on Me in the movie. You know, and, and if your life is going to be told, you want it to be told right. You know, you want it to be told right, or something that you can, like, you know, that's me, I'm watching myself on TV, and I'm like, that didn't happen. You know, so that's, that's one of the things people don't really understand. So we're not going to rush it out. And it's gonna be worth the wait. When it finally gets done, it's gonna be worth the wait. Um, I had a lot. I had a lot of uh, moments apart, in and out the studio. You know, in a party scene, in a social scene, and, and just a you know a scene where we sat down and talked about records. When, when he first bought the uh, How Do You Want a Record to me on the cassette tape, and he brought it to my hotel room, and he was singing a hook. And uh, I was like, "Man, you sound good." He's like, "I don't like my voice on it." So uh, he had wrote a whole so, uh, a whole another song, and he's like, "I mean, what can you, I just want to hear some singing?" So I was like, "Oh, well, we can put some vocals on it, whatever." So we went to the studio, I called Casey and Joe, went to the studio. And I'm like, he he heard the, the way that we stacked the harmony and I was mixing the harmony. He just sat down and wrote a whole nother song in like five minutes. I'm like, well, what happened to the verse you had on the song? Ah, oh, man, man, y'all gonna kill me on my own song, he said. But it was dope, I mean, it was dope. Like, and it was like, you know, just in that quick time of me like mixing the harmonies and stuff, he had wrote a whole new, like couple of verses. And I was like, man, you should just leave it. He's like, nah. And so just to hear, just to watch how he worked and I mean, he would just do song after song after song, which is really cool. 